This video guides you how to install the GPS tracker and connect the original fuel sensor. The tracker we use is S3 Zero model. It supports the original fuel sensor feature. The vehicle's power can be found here. Now unscrew the dashboard. Remove it. Use the electro probe to find the vehicle's power cable. Now engine off, the line is on. This is power cable. Turn engine on. Try to find the ACC cable. The light on. This is ACC cable. If turn engine off, the electro probe light will be off too. These four cables from the GPS tracker. Red power cable, black ground cable, white input cable, blue AD cable. Now connect the tracker's ground cable to vehicle's ground cable or metal. Here we connect to metal. Connect the tracker's ground cable to metal. This unnecessary cables we wrap with tape for security. Now we connect the power cable. Cut open the insulated wire. Cut it out. No problem. Okay. Let's go. Go down the road. Go down the road. And connect the tracker's power cable to vehicle power cable. After connection, we can see the tracker power on now. Now wrap the tape. Hey, what Okay, check the power on. Now connect the ACC cable. Connect the tracker's ACC cable to Ripple ACC cable. Okay, the basic installation has finished. Now we will connect the original fuel sensor.
First is to find the fuel sensor cable. There are two ways to find the fuel cable. One way is to follow our original fuel sensor manual to find the fuel cable and the dashboard. The second way is to find the fuel cable on the tank. Here we use the second way. We can see there are two cables on the fuel tank. The black one is ground cable. The brown one shall be fuel sensor cable. We cut open the ground cable and use the multimeter to identify it. Mirror the voltage from ground cable. Now engine off is is zero volt. Turn engine off is five point six three volt. Engine off, back to zero volt again. We confirm that the fuel sensor cable. Now use an extension cable to connect the fuel sensor cable to trackers AD cable. Connect the extension cable to your sensor cable. Then we connect the other end of the extension cable to checkers AD cable. Now connect the other end of extension cable to checkers AD cable.
The loop cable is AB cable. The fuel sensor cable has connected to AD cable. Now use the multimeter to measure the voltage from fuel sensor cable. Engine on, fuel empty. Is it's 5.62 volt. Then fill the fuel little by little and record the voltage. The more section calibration you have done, the more accurate the fuel reading will be. <laughs> Now we have fuel another 5 liters. It's 5.08 volt. Then repeat the calibration steps. Repeat the calibration steps until the tank is full. Then send all the calibration data to your supplier. They will fit out SY value to fill on platform.